Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the white mirrored doll armoire with three baskets and hangers. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, the top, part B, the top trim rail, and three of the R screws. For this step, we're going to be attaching the top trim rail to the top. When looking at the top trim rail, one side will be plain and one side will have this attached board. You're going to want to see the plain side going onto these three back screws of the top. When looking at the top, you'll see one side that has all the screw holes that does not have the groove or the magnets. You want just the plain side and these three holes right along the edge here are going to align with the three holes right at the bottom of this top trim rail. That's where this is going to go attach right here and we're going to screw from the underside of the top. So we're going to put three screws going up through here into that top trim rail. So for this demonstration I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier. Feel free to use a drill, but if you do, please make sure you have the torque setting set on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to put this through here, align it with this pre-drilled hole in all three places, and then screw them into place. For step two, you will need part C, which is the left side. You will need part D, which is the center, and part E, the right side. You will also need part F, which is the base, and you will need six of the S screws. So what I'm going to be doing first is putting on the left side of the armoire. When looking at the left side, part C, you're going to see these grooves here. This groove that goes along the long side of the side needs to align with this groove on the base that goes to the back. So they should be kind of aligning up with themselves. When looking at the base, this is going to be the underside where we're going to be putting all the screws going upward to hold those sides into place. So when laying it down, this is going to be the back side where this groove is and then the front. So this part C, when putting it on here, this groove has to align with the groove on the base. The two screw holes down here will align with these two holes on the base. You want these grooves that are going horizontally facing towards the inside and these hinges to the front. So I'm just going to lay this down so I can screw from the, the bottom side like so. And I'm just going to lay this kind of on its side so I can put those screws in from the back here. We're going to be using those longer S screws that will go through here and into those pre-drilled holes on the side. And we're going to screw both of these into place. When putting these screws in, they're going to be going into these plastic inserts, which you'll see kind of these Phillips head screwdriver marks. Those inserts are what hold those screws into place. So if for any reason you ever have one that isn't screwing in correctly, you can slightly turn these guys with a head, uh, Phillips head screwdriver and that should help get the screw to hold into place. Next what we're going to do is put in the middle piece. The middle piece is part D which also has those horizontal grooves. On the other side it just has this beveled hole for a peg. Now we want these horizontal grooves to align with the ones from the left side so that shells will eventually go across there. This back groove, which you see on both sides, needs to align to the back here. So when putting this into place, this back groove needs to go this way, this beveled hole needs to go this way, and those horizontal grooves need to align to the left side. So that way you know which way is front and back. Again, we're going to do the same thing where we're aligning these two screws in the base into that metal piece, the middle piece and we're going to screw them in. Lastly, we're going to be putting on the right side. 
So the right side will have, again, that beveled peg hole, which is going to face the same direction or towards the one in that middle piece, so that they're facing towards each other. This groove here needs to go to the back of the base, again, aligning with this groove here, and then the hinges will go towards the front. So again, these beveled holes facing towards each other, and groove aligning with this groove here towards the inside of the armoire. We're gonna go again from the back here and get that right side screwed into place. For step three, you will need two of part G, which are the back panels, and you will need part N, which is the dowel. Next, what we're gonna be doing is putting in the back panels. Now the back panels, if you put in these sides correctly, will go into these grooves that should face towards each other and then to the back of the base. So that all you have to do is put this back panel into the groove on both sides and slide it down. Now make sure it's in this bottom groove into this base. Sometimes you have to shift it just a little bit to get it to go all the way down. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. Put it into the groove on both sides and slide it all the way down. Last, what we're going to be doing is putting the dowel into this side here. Now, if you remember, we had these beveled holes from each side that face towards each other. So we're going to put this dowel into one side and then just slide it down to the other side until it pops into that other beveled hole. And then it should hold into place like so. For step four, you will need two of part H, which are the shelves. You will need this part A and B that we already put together and you will need six of the S screws. For this step, what we're gonna be doing is putting the top onto the armoire. When looking at the top, you've got the nice top rail that we had already put into place. That's gonna to go to the back, so it's gonna look like so. When looking at the underside of the top, we have that groove. That groove is where these back panels need to slide up into place. So when we put the top down, make sure that these panels get into this groove so it has a nice snug fit to the top. So sometimes you gotta just kinda wiggle it around so that you can make sure that you get those back panels all the way down. Then gently but firmly push down so now that it's flush going all the way around. Then what we're gonna be doing is putting down six screws that'll go into each of these side panels that we had already put into place. So let's get those all screwed in. Last what we're going to be doing is just putting in the shelves. Now the shelves are going to go into these horizontal grooves that are facing towards each other. So when you put in the shelf, it should go into the groove on both sides here and just slide into place. Now if you put on the shelf and it doesn't seem to sit, it's kind of falling through, try to turn the shelf and then put it into place because it may not be long enough on one side to hold it. For this step, you'll need part I, the right door that has the pexiglass, part J, the left door that has the mirror. You will need two of part Q, which are the knobs, two of the P screws, and eight of the O screws. So first for this step, what we're gonna be doing is putting the knobs onto the door. When looking at the doors, you'll see one side has the small screw hole where the knob is gonna go onto. If you're looking at the back side, the back side will have the larger hole, you'll see the magnet, you'll see the screws for the pexiglass. That's what you notice to the inside. So the screw is going to be going in from this direction into the knob on the outside of the door. So we're going to put this screw through here. And we're going to be using that larger screw, the screw P, to hold that knob into place. And then the same thing with this other door, the one that has the mirror. You're going to see the side that has um, just the backing essentially for that mirror and then the larger screw hole. That's where that screw P will go through and go right into the knob.
Once you have the both knobs onto those doors, next what we're going to be doing is attaching the doors onto the armoire. So when looking at the armoire, we have these hinges that are already in place. There's two holes in each of these hinges that a screw is going to go through, and it's going to attach to these four holes, two at the top here and two at the bottom, on the door. Now it's going to go to the inside of the door, or this back side essentially, where we see those pre-drilled um, pre holes already. We're going to be using these smaller screws. And we're going to go right through the holes like so. So essentially, the side with the pexi glass is going to be at the side that has the hanger. The mirror is going to go on the side with the shelves. That way, when they're connected with the hinges and closed, those doorknobs are to the center. So let's get these four and the four for the mirror screwed into place. For this step, you will need three of part L, which are the basket bodies. You will need three of part M, which are the basket bottoms. And you will also need three of part K, which are the hangers. So next what we're going to be doing is assembling the baskets. What you're going to be doing is you're going to unfold the basket body. You're going to be taking the basket bottom and you're going to be putting it into the basket itself to hold its shape. Now if it doesn't fit one way, you can turn it and fit it back down because one way is a little bit longer than the other until it fits nicely. So then this will, is what will hold your basket into place. Then these baskets can go into each of these shelves so that you have a nice drawer basket here. So let's assemble the other ones here. You're going to unfold the basket body. Again, putting into that basket bottom. And then you're going to be putting it into the shelves of the armoire. Lastly, you're going to be putting the hangers onto the dowel on the other side so that you can hang your doll clothes when you're ready. And that concludes the assembly of the white mirrored doll armoire with the three baskets and hangers. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.